Your photography seems to be going well. I think you're about ready for a nighttime visit to the Florio Nature Park. Hopefully you'll see one of the lentil's greatest wonders, a glow called the Lumina Phenomenon. They love using the word phenomenon because we just got, uh, at the time of this stream, this is a couple days after the uh, Pokemon Presents that just happened, and we got information on Scarlet and Violet with terrestrializing, and they call that a phenomenon, Dynamaxing was a phenomenon, Mega Evolution was a phenomenon. I don't really know if Z-moves were, because that's just kind of part of Alola's culture. But, like, you know, you're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Yes, I am, but explaining the process scientifically was just one step toward my ultimate goal. Finding the special Pokémon spoken of in Legends of Lentil. You mean the Lumina Pokémon? I thought they were made up. No. They're very real. You've seen photos from Captain Vince's tra uh, Travelogue, haven't you? What? You can barely tell what's in those photos. And they're ancient anyway, literally hundreds of years old. All right, now. Well, we can discuss that later. For now, enjoy your nighttime outing. All right, so now we can go here during the nighttime. So we will go here during the nighttime and see what we can do. This already looks really pretty. Score bunny. You might get to see a whole new side of Pokemon at night. Watch That's probably where the shard there is going to be. Here. Buffalo do not care. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Buffalo ass. Oh, dang it. That would have been a good photo score bunny. He's not turning around. <laughs> Tangrowth? Mm. Look at that friend. Caterpie! Friend. Warm friend. And Murkrow? I like that Murkrow. Huh? Noise coming from the lump. The pincer? Uh, I don't remember where the Hoot Hoot's located. I think I took a picture of the pincer. Why there's so many Torterra? Well, they're just here. Am I gonna like run into them? Or they're kind of on the track. Now we're good. Over to the water, there's still Swana. It's terrible Swana. It wasn't glowing a little bit. Ducklet. Friends. The Sleepies. She's got a case of the Sleepies. What's that? On Pheasant? Who's that? What's Pidgeot? I love this game. Look at the ducks. There's the hoo hoo. There we go. What else do we got around here? So this pincer is stanced up. That's still hoo hoo over there. Combi? What am I looking at? Oh 
this way. Yeah. I like that, uh, score bunny sleeping on top of a Torterra. That's really cute. I know I've seen, like, plenty of, like, wild Torterras in, uh, Crimson Mirelands, but I also think of the giant Torterras from, uh, the Detective Pikachu movie. So we've got score bunny. Uh, I like this one a lot, but I don't know which one would be better. That one's a pretty good one. Boofalot, I mean, like... There's not really much I can do with Boofalot here. We can get Bidoof. Uh, Tangrowth, apparently that one's a good one. We got Caterpie. I like that one. Murkrow. I think the flying... Them being flying would be better. Well, apparently this is a three-star photo. Actually, it tells you the stars of the photo. Hold on. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Apparently all those are one star. Apparently Bidoof Ass is a two-star photo. Okay. Pinsir. Corterra. That one. That's a th that's a three star swana. You're telling me that's a three star swana? Sure. Ducklet. Friends. Pidgeot. Couldn't really get a good picture of Pidgeot. Uh, hoot hoot. I like that hoot hoot the best. And we're good. Let's do this. Time to check out the photos. A new discovery. It's Score Bunny. Nice work. Hey, Score Bunny. Nice work. Goof a lot. Tier two. Bidoof. Tier two. Bidoof ass. Glorious. Funny Tangrowth. <laughs> new discovery. Nice work. Then we've got Caterpie. A new discovery. Nice work. Murkrow! Nice work. That somehow is tier three. You take those though. We got Combi. A new discovery. Nice work. Pincer. A new discovery. Great timing. What sucks about this is that you could only evaluate one photo at a time, so you have to go back and take another shitty picture to get the tier one picture, because you're like you're not allowed to use the other one. Which is why I would never go for 100 percent in this game. It's too time consuming. Nice work. I'm just here to see what's up. Yo, this Torterra has an Arceus pose. I need to speed this up because this actually does take a while. A new discovery. You can nice see work. the whole the ranking on screen. Nice work. Oh, I see what they hear. What, what's here? So, I didn't know how long this playthrough would take because I want this. I wanted this to be a short playthrough for like a month. Uh, but I've seen people, I've seen like full long plays of this game on YouTube that are like 8 to 12 hours long. And I was, I didn't know if I wanted to make this a long play game or I wanted to make this an episodic series. I'm obviously making it an episodic series now. But I go to Yo Schiller's channel because I'm subscribed to Yo Schiller. And he's at like episode like 54 of New Pokemon Snap. I'm like, how do you play this game for that long to get like... 45 minute long episodes consistently that are, and you're up to freaking episode, what is it? Like, he, I don't even know. What is he at right now, as of right now? 
as of this stream. Uh, he's at uh, episode 51 of New Pokemon Snap right now. His last upload from this was two weeks ago, apparently, because he uploads other games, but, like, okay, they're not even, some of them are, like, in the 40-minute range, some of them are, like, an hour plus, but it's because I'm seeing, I'm level 2 in the daytime area for this place, but I'm level 1 in the, in the nighttime area for this place, so I have to keep constantly taking better photos in those areas to level up more, to then get better things in those areas. That seems like a process. By the way, thanks to your, uh, the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill it you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Uh, I want to get the Murkrow saved. Uh... That's about it, actually, uh... The, uh... Tor happy Torterra. I like this Happy Torterra. Okay. How- Oh, there's the voice I think in this cutscene. Something incredible has happened. Here, take a look at this. Here's the thing. When you got near that field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Also. Its source seems to be moving too, if only slightly. Which suggests that we've got what we've got here is an a, 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 a Illumina Pokemon? Mm -hmm. I, I think that's how I'm supposed to pronounce that. Uh, we can't be sure just yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Did you see anything, or did you do anything special? I also doubt it appeared when it did by chance. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where that reading is coming from. What? Uh, I want to go see too. You can watch through the monitor with me, Rita. Right. Please uh, head out as soon as you're ready. I would like to go now, please. <laughs> Okay, so there's day, night, and Illumina spot. So what does this mean? Captain Vince, an adventurer who explored the islands of the Lentil region. I can't read that. Well, that's definitely where the reading was coming from. Do you see or hear anything? Glowing. Yo. That's a big Meganium. Why is it so big? Is Meganium normally that big? I just don't remember its height. Because that is a big Meganium. That Meganium's the Illumina Pokemon. Quick, get its picture! Yeah, it is Illumina. At least this game will be very easy to make thumbnails for. Turn yourself around, or I need to go faster. Because I need to get a picture of your face, and I'm just looking at your butt. There we go. Next time I ever play a game that has, like, Chikorita in it, I'll choose it. Because, like, I severely under- I mean, I'm, I'm aware that Chikorita is, like, literally the worst starter Pokemon in all of existence, but, like... I like Meganium. Meganium's a friend. Well, 
would be cool if this went by a little faster. Because there's like nothing else around to do. That was cute. Hmm. We've got a lot to discuss, but first let's get your photos evaluated. So we've got Meganium. Apparently all of these are completely invalid photos. Do we have any... All of these are invalid photos? All of them. I guess I'm only allowed to use use the photos that have it like glowing like that. I mean, this is probably my favorite one. Actually, this one's also pretty good. That's only a one star, so I probably want the two star, right? Okay. All right. A new discovery. Perfect timing. Very good. Put that in the two star slot. Level two for nighttime or right. Illumina spot or whatever. Other step forward toward your research. I have a Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. Best shot. Nice pose. Gentle wonder. Cell shading. Oh, that's cool. By the way, now that we've got that Illumina Pokemon info, we've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. Well, we can easily take some of these. Save this one. And save this one. This is like... Also save it to like my other in-game album, I guess. Should be doing that too. Yes. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? And it was saying something? Rita. Easy there, Rita. Take a deep breath. Look who's talking. You are practically dancing, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. There's no doubt about it. That Meganium was an Illumina Pokemon, just like the Legends. Wow. Remind me what the Legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor. Didn't they supposedly uh, save Lentil from a huge disaster uh, a long time ago or something? Mm -hmm. So the story goes, yes. Also, Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinctive patterns and to glow with unusual light. <laughs> Sounds like our new friend. Right. Yes, to the letter. I'm convinced the events of those legends really did happen. And discovering the true history of this region could be the key that opens up all our research. Oh. Hang on, wasn't there one more important thing you were going to mention, Professor? Uh, that's alright. It's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation here tomorrow. Beat. And now it's daytime, magically. Morning. Good morning. Did you manage to get some sleep? Now, as Rita already told you, I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire Lentil region. And no sooner uh, had you arrived than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. Huh? Think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet. But fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? <laughs> well, you know, maybe. Jeez. For a scientist, you sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. But... Still, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> It'll be way more fun with you along. Right. Well, there you have it. Ready for uh, to officially join our research team? They don't give me a no option. Well? Excellent. Well then, let's make it official. With a team badge. Oh, it goes on my little head. 
I'm a gamer now. Yep. It's like you were born to wear it. All right. What are you waiting for? Adventure awaits! Not to rain on your parade, Rita. But I need to get a couple more things ready first. Aw, oh, come on! It's a little bit longer, alright? I promise it'll be worth the wait. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. Which is right now. So I'm going to get more dialogue. Team badge. Yay. Yay. Let me out. I'm gonna go into the, the pod. All right. Now that you're a fully fledged team member, I have something that you'll that'll come in handy. Yes, the, the standard Pokemon Snap affair, throwing apples at things. After the explanation, would you do the honors, Rita? Yeah. Yes, sir. Is it just me, or have you been getting uh, have you been getting me to do a lot more work lately, Professor? Oh well, time to explain. Uh, like the assistant, I am. You say the first part of the sentence and then don't say the rest. This is a fluff fruit. They grow here in the Lentil region. They're sweet and tasty, and they make great snacks for Pokemon. They may look just like regular apples, but they're way lighter and softer. They'll probably make a Pokemon's day if you toss it one of, toss it one of these. Let's get you some practice. So in Pokemon Snap, you could throw apples at things, and you could like bonk them on the head. But then, I guess people would feel bad that you're bonking things on the head with apples, so... They made it so that the apples don't hurt anymore. Hold on. Okay. There! See? You came to get a bite! Who doesn't love a little snack? You can move the pointer around to aim your camera. It's the same as aiming your camera. Just move the left stick to move the round! Look at the baby! And it's rolling around! What is this baby doing? Come back here. Also, I thought I turned the motion controls off, and the motion controls are on. Stop it. Take a few more practice throws. Oh, looks like you startled it. But these don't hurt, so it'll be fine. Yeah, bonk him on the head. You Pikachu's eating good. Don't forget what I told you, okay? Right? Pretty easy, right? I think it should be all you need to know. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I am Whoa. skipping your okay. text. Are you familiar with Len Talk? He rings a bell, I yep. think. It's a communication tool folks here use in the Lentil region. What does Beepus do? You, sh you should do it. Uh, Rita, let's say you notice something exciting in the field. You can spend uh, send a photo and description over to Lentalk. You can use it to send things to the monitor. Oh my god, I want to play the video game right now. I'm, I'm so sorry, but I'm very interested in playing the video game. So I can see... So I could just, just have like quick social media access from here. Have you seen which fruits, or which Pokemon is scorching these fruits? I'd like to try and catch the culprit. Oh, there's like side quests. Uh... Wonder what it looks like when it yawns. Aren't you curious too? Uh, sometimes Sword just seems to gather actual power from its surrounding. Would you mind uh, getting a photograph of the striking behavior? Uh, so, see, the, these are all side quests. And when it even gets to this spot, it starts to look around kind of restlessly. Do you think it's looking for one of its friends? Uh, that's interesting. I don't know if I'll be doing all of those, but I'll try. Hello. Uh -huh. So, I guess now we just... It's gonna be a while, I guess, before we get to the next area. I don't know how many areas are in this game. Uh, but they really make you replay everything, but that's the whole thing with Pokemon Snap, is that you're supposed to replay everything, so... Uh, now that we have the power of throwing apples at things that are not actual apples, we will see what we can do.
Oh, so the Pokemon are in like different poses now. Moo. It's got a little stick. It's got a little stick. What are you doing? I'm back here. You fool. It's over there. Friends going upstream. Bonk him. Wait. Magikarp. Got Magikarp to come out of the water. Can I, like, lure you closer to me right now? Yes. You come here. Anything? It's got, it's even got a little hole for them to sleep in. Wait, up here? Is a thing? It's a fruit that Tangrowth loves up there. Wait! Oh, hello! You were ju you're just here now. Okay. Alright, well, I'm sorry if I don't have, like, any, like, incredible commentary for this game when it's just, you know, auto-scroller and chill. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, it's a different type of Florages. Wait a second. It's time. I think it's pretty interesting that the areas do change a little bit. These two friends are having a grand time. How'd your research go? I can't wait to see if you found anything new. Alright, well, Bufalant. Um... Take this picture for, for one. Already got a good one. We don't have a tier two for Grookey, so we'll do that. Uh, Bidoof. We might be able to get a better Bidoof there. Wurmple. I don't have any... Two Wurmples, so you can take that one. Swana, you can take that one. Magikarp, sure. Tangrowth, that one. Ducklet, that's a Ducklet photo. Are you sure about that one? <laughs> uh, Talo, it's fine. Floriges, we have a three-star Floriges from there. That's a that's a three-star. Yeah, sure, but okay. Uh, and then evaluate. Let's do this. Nice work. That's better. Keep the new one. Nice work. We have a tier two nice Grookey. Uh, that's a better Bidoof. As much as I think Bidoof ass is funny, we'll take that one. Nice work. Wurmple two star. Swana two star. Magikarp 2-star, Tangrowth 2-star, Floriges 3-star. It's nice that it tells you what kind of star it is ahead of time, so you don't have to guesstimate. Mm -hmm. Your photo deck is filling up. Remember to check what Pokemon you're missing. 
You can do click the retry button now, but I'm good. Uh, other types of photos. Save this. And save this. Uh, save this. And save this. Happy vibes. I like all the randomly generated... That's a hit. Uh, randomly generated stuff or captions it'll give. Can I hit you with this? Mer. Mer. Keep pressing the wrong button. So we got, do I need to get you yawning? Wait, hitting one with the, the throat makes it yawn. I think it was only that specific one, and I missed it, so... Oh, hello, Pidgeot. You're just kind of here. I am back, yes. So I'm hoping... Okay, so there's a note thing here, so I think I got it. Yeah, from the side. That's the one for the, the quest. Uh, Crystal Bloom? I'm supposed to take a picture of that, apparently. Pidgeot? I got a better Pidgeot. Bufalant? Tang growth. I mean, I want to get that one evaluated, that one evaluated, that one evaluated. So now what? What do we got here? Caterpie. Much better Caterpie. Pincer. A um, slightly better Pincer. Swana, that's somehow worse, even though it's closer to the camera. Sure. Torterra. We got... That's a four-star Torterra, I guess. I guess it's because it's part of a request. So... Two-star Pidgeot. And we got Crystal Bloom. Uh... I learned how Illumina Phenomena works studying these flowers. Cool. So, I'm now level 2 for this particular area. What does this mean? I don't know. Look at that, you've hit a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes. Okay, so I guess every sing- That's why the daytime was slightly different. So every single time I level up, Pokémon are gonna be doing different things. Which is very cool, actually. As big as possible. Got a thing there. Save some photos. Like this tang growth. Nice and calm. Uh I guess this sure. Turn to camp. Got a whole cutscene again. You can do it, just focus. Huh? Huh? Well, look who it is. It's look who it's it is. Oh, what? Hey, Professor, it's been a while. Oh, this man's in this game, and he's got a voice. Now that this is Todd. It's Todd Stamp. <laughs> He's a professional Pokemon photographer. His work takes him all over the world. Hi. Are you the one who caught an Illumina Pokemon on camera? Way to go. It's a big deal. He's got a... He's got a major glow up. He's like a full grown man now. So? Todd, what did you, uh, did you bring what I asked you to? <laughs> sure did. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Now we'll finally be able to set out. 
this guy a friend of yours, Professor? Mm -hmm. An old travel companion, to be precise. He's been helping me plan our big survey of Lentil, too. Huh. No kidding. Oh, is, is, uh, is that the new pod you put together? Reminds me of the good old days. Okay. But hey, let me see those Illumina Pokemon photos. Wow, you've really got an eye for this. Hmm. Hey! Huh? Back off, kid. Get your own mentor. <sighs> well, who, who's this man's? So you're the new teammate, huh? I'm Phil, Todd's number one student. Okay now. Easy there, Phil. Well... I'm tempted to take part in this big uh, ecological survey myself, but I have another idea. How about I send Phil with you instead? I'll pass. Yep. I'm fine with that if you are, Todd. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. However, you could be my stand. Uh, you could be my stand-in for now, but don't forget. Uh, I'll need that badge back eventually. Aw, uh, oh, fine, but if I take a super cool photo, I get to keep the badge. And, uh... So, yeah, uh, what's an ecological survey? <sighs> Trying to take okay. photos. I don't know what I'd use for a thumbnail. Now that you're all here, we can get started. Listen up, team. I'm going to give you a breakdown of the survey. There's a lot going on there. Why can't you like tell me everything in voice acting? They couldn't pay you enough. This is uh, this is for uh, Florio Island, our home sweet home. The circled spot right there is our camp. The survey will take us past these shores. Uh, and this will be our final destination. Belusulia, I found a jungle. Did that say final or first destination? I wasn't paying attention to what that said. Yep. Why are we starting there? I guess it said first. Uh, I've detected a spot uh, with high energy readings. The Neo One should be able to teleport to it. This island showed up uh, in the travel log, right? Mm -hmm. It certainly did. Captain Vince wrote that he saw a glowing Pokemon there too. In fact, come on, come on already. Let's get this survey thing started. Look at this. Look at this friend up here. Look at this Dedenne. He's just doing a thing. Just being a rat. <laughs> Agreed. Fair enough. Anyway. Enjoy your first, uh, enjoy your first in a century adventure into the wilds of Lentil. Alright, so, let me see this then. So, complete. Do I get anything for this? That's a huge yawn. I must have been super tired. Great. I don't get like an achievement or anything, it's just I have requests and I can do them. So it's just like different ways to take pictures, like I said. Uh, I like to 100% games that I play on the channel, but I don't think this is going to be one of them, just because, you know, it involves all of this. I've said that about a couple games that I've streamed in the past, or doing playthroughs in the past. I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna do 100% playthrough, and then I do 100% playthrough anyway. As of right now, I'm not entirely interested in taking those on. I just kind of want to see the environments and the Pokemon.